carbon is the fundamental building block of all life forms that have ever existed on Earth, all the way from mitochondria to the woolly mammoth. It is one of the most abundant elements after hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, and the carbon present during the formation of Earth 4.5 billion years ago is still cycling through the Earth today through a process called the carbon cycle. What is the carbon cycle? It maintains a delicate balance between the carbon in the atmosphere and the rest of the Earth. Most of the Earth's carbon is inorganic and is stored in rocks such as limestone over long periods of time. The rest is in the ocean, living organisms, and the atmosphere. All of these are known as reservoirs, or sinks, of carbon. The carbon cycle is really an exchange between those reservoirs. The plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere using photosynthesis. This will convert the inorganic CO2 into the organic glucose. Organic carbon, such as glucose, is a form of reduced carbon, which means that it stores energy. Organisms feed on such reduced carbon to absorb the energy inside and grow. Through respiration, the organic carbon is converted into inorganic carbon and released back into the atmosphere. This is known as the fast carbon cycle. There is also a slow cycle that happens simultaneously with the fast cycle. The carbon in the atmosphere combines with water to form carbonic acid and rains down onto Earth's surface. This slowly dissolves rocks over time and releases calcium ions, which are then carried into the ocean through rivers. In the ocean, the carbonate from the carbonic acid combines with the calcium ions, forming calcium bicarbonate. This is an essential ingredient for organisms in the ocean that build shells, such as corals and some planktons. When those organisms die and decay on the ocean floor, the carbon stored inside those shells will eventually cement together and form rocks, such as limestone, over extremely long periods of time, hence the term slow cycle. The carbon inside those rocks and sediments eventually cycle into the atmosphere through volcanic eruptions. However, over the past decades, this delicate balance has been rapidly breaking apart. CO2 is a type of greenhouse gas which absorbs heat. As more and more CO2 gets released into the atmosphere, not enough of them are getting reabsorbed or rained down, causing our planet to increase in temperature steadily as more CO2 builds up. So what's the deal with forest fires? Why is it so harmful? Aside from the millions of dollars in damage, it also causes the destruction of ecosystems and acidification of soil. But more importantly, they cause more CO2 to be released into the atmosphere with this reaction. This increases the amount of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, making the planet hotter, while decreasing the amount of plants, which absorb the same CO2 that can make the planet cooler.